With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, a stone is thrown horizontally with a velocity of 10 meter per second. The radius of curvature of its trajectory at the end of 3 seconds of its motion begin. So if I talk about the radius of curvature, we know that it is V square by A perpendicular. Where A perpendicular is the component of acceleration perpendicular to velocity. It means that we need not to break the velocity into component, but we have to break the acceleration into component. So, if you projected a particle horizontally from some height with a velocity 10 meter per second like this. So, this velocity that is ux, it is 10 meter per second. It will remain constant throughout the motion and it will gain a velocity in the vertical direction vy. And vy you can get by writing the first equation of motion g into t. So, if you see the g is 10 and uh, the time said here 3 seconds. So, 10 into 3 it will be 30 meter per second is the vy. And the u v vx will be equals to ux that is this. So, as we have discussed that the acceleration component perpendicular to the velocity is required. So, let us say the resultant will be this. The resultant velocity will be this. This is the velocity and uh, let us say this angle is theta and we want the component of g perpendicular to the velocity. Let us say this is the acceleration g. This is the g acceleration in downward direction. So, its component uh, perpendicular to velocity is it will be g sin theta. So, if you see here you can get the value of g sin theta right. If you see you can get this velocity v first. So, I will write down the velocity v square is equals to 10 square plus 30 square. So, 10 square 100 30 square is 900. So, it will be 1000. So, velocity we got it is 10 root 10. If you take under root you will write down 10 root 10. Right. So, as you got the velocity you can simply see that the sine theta value. Sine theta is what? This perpendicular that is 10 and uh, in division 10 root 10. So, it will be 1 by root 10. So, if you if you write down the g sine theta that is also the a perpendicular, it is 10 by root 10. So, it is root 10. Now, you can just put the value. So, v square is 1000 and uh, perpendicular component is root 10. So, if you see here it is 100 root 10 is the radius of curvature and answer of this question. Now, you can check for the option 100 root 10 B is the correct one. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.